moment, just for, for not for you, but also everyone that is, has been around you for those 303 games. Yeah, but it's, um, yeah, obviously I'm, I'm really proud to be representing this club uh, 303 times. Uh, a couple of greats before me with uh, Rico and Minnie and had a few words with them during the week. And um, yeah, just and really thankful to the fans too. That standing ovation as I, as I came out would be something that it, um, I'll never forget and it was a really special moment in my career. Orbsy, it's uh, Cooper here, mate. Nothing but love and respect and congratulations <laughs> for tonight, mate. You're well deserved. I want to take you into a little bit of emotional state, mate, because we saw the guard of honour. We know what the Roosters do for their players when they have big milestones. But women in league round, you've had some personal setbacks this year, but I'm sure that your family was watching, your mum was there, mate. Just talk about the enormity and the emotion of what went into tonight's game. Yeah, Coops, it's, um, yeah, it's been a really tough year for my family and, and myself. And, um, you know, the club's been really good to me. They, they rallied around me and, and gave me the time that I needed and, and welcomed me back with open arms. Uh, a lot of my best mates are here. And uh, tonight, you know, all my family is here, my, my two kids, my wife, my mum, my brothers. I'm um, just really proud they can all be together and, and celebrate a good night tonight. And um, I, I definitely think the old man was looking after me tonight for sure. <laughs> Hey, uh, Mitch, uh, Mel Meninga, mate. Um, congratulations on a wonderful career so far. Still a few more to go. Um, yeah, great milestone tonight. I can't believe you're not a Titan, mate, coming from Ballina. What happened there? <laughs> I don't think the Titans wanted me, to be honest. <laughs> no, no. Sure they, surely. No, nah. nah, mate, um, it, was, it was probably their first year when I, when I came to Sydney and, and big Artie Beeson picked me up, so I, there's no way I could say no to Artie and he was such a big part of um, my career and my parents were, were loving that Artie came and, and chatted to me, so uh, big thanks to Artie for that, for sure. Mitch, just watching the emotion of when you came through that guard of honour and picked up that first try, we don't often see a lot of emotion from you, but boy, that must have been nice getting that first try. Yeah, it's obviously a really tough week for me because of the, a little bit of the, the spotlights on you, and I don't really like that. I like to go about my business and work really hard, and I'm um, just really thankful that you know Joey Marnie threw me onto a nice ball there to, to give me the, the great start, and, and then it's sort of the, the game rolled from there. But it was more for the fans that, and my family was in that corner too. I knew they were there, so in front of them, it was a really special moment for me. Orbs, you're a very selfless player. You always put the team first and you never say no to anyone. But over your 303 games, have you ever said no about playing any position for the Roosters <laughs> at any stage? Uh, yeah, Coops, halfback when uh, you were a chance of getting out. So. I really didn't want it. I really didn't want it. And, hey, thanks for turning up that night, mate. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't know you were going there, nah, mate. Keep it in <laughs> the answer to that. That's why I asked yeah, him. Yeah. He wanted a rap, mate. He wanted yeah, a rap. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Mitchell. It's, uh, it's exceptional to watch you play rugby league. And as Mel mentioned, many more games to come. Congratulations again. Thank it's you. It's exceptional to watch you play rugby league. And as Mel mentioned, many more games to come. Congratulations on all our love and respect to everyone in your family and your greater circle. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.